Hi there. Today we're going to be checking out report templates. If you want to get rid of the monotonous task of setting filters and columns for reports, you can simply save it as a template. With a saved report template, you'll be able to quickly check how a particular user or an entire department advances through courses or find out how many users attended events last month. Let's give creating a template a go. First, head to the Reports section of iSpring Learn. Now run a report. I'm going to run a Learner Progress Report and add a specific filter to it. Okay, now if I want to be able to access this report again easily, all I have to do is go over to the Save as Template button and select it. Then name it and select Create. The report template is saved with the established set of filters and columns. Now you can easily locate it in the My Reports section to track users' results. This section only appears after you've created a template. If you need to rename your template, all you have to do is head back into it and then to the three dots menu, then select Rename. You can also delete the template from here if you no longer need it. If you want to make changes to filters, columns, or sorting options of your template, simply make the changes to it that you want to see, then select Save Changes over here. It's important to note that if your filter contains dates, they'll be applied every time the report is reopened. For example, if I add a start date and completion date to my template, it will always show results from this specific time frame. Also, if you create a template for a specific user and then delete that user, the template will no longer work. The same thing happens if the template owner doesn't have permission to view data on that user. Keep in mind that the template won't be affected by any changes made to an original report, and a template is only available to the user who created it. That's it for now. You can get started creating report templates right away.